Confirming resolution of twin shadow. Hello, everybody. Welcome to another Legends of Destiny Agent of the Nine. My name is Chris, aka Big C, and Zer's back in the reef for like the third week in a row or something. Uh, I don't know. At least second week in a row. What has he got? Items belong to the Nine. Not okay. Me. He has. Legacy body engram. Yes, it's still a legacy engram, unfortunately, so not worth your time. Eternal Warrior for the Titan gives you Unstoppable for the Fist of Havoc. So if you are a Fist of Havoc Titan and don't want to run Unstoppable as a normal perk, here you go. It's kind of an ugly helmet, but it's something. Uh, it's a pure intellect build, which is, I mean, eh, if you really want supers, that's not bad. Um... It gives you super energy from non-guardian kills and bonus grenade energy on orb pickup. But the hunter, he's got the knucklehead radar, which honestly is a kind of worthless helmet at this point because there's an artifact that does the same thing. So really, I would not waste your time with this helmet. I mean, if you really want that perk but don't want to run that artifact, okay, sure. But I honestly think there are much better exotics for a hunter out there than this one, um, so I wouldn't even waste your time with it. But in case you want to, uh, it's a Discipline Strength roll, pretty high. Um, primary weapons remain available while aiming down sights. Uh, bonus grenade energy, and you replenish your health when you're picking up orbs. Impossible Machines for the Warlock. Um... Intellect Strength, eh, okay. Um, Grand's Landfall, this is a big one, so if you're running a Stormcaller and want to wreck everybody who's right around you when you pop your Stormcaller, this is the exotic for you. Definitely worthwhile if you like to Stormcall. Uh, increase that attack speed and reload speed with auto rifles, so not a bad roll. Um, definitely pick this up if you like to Stormcall and you don't have it already. Weapon this week is the Soros Regime. It's an auto rifle. Basically has glass half full and has a chance to return health on kill and it has either focus fire or speeding up which allows you to kind of adjust how fast or how slow you want this gun to fire as well as how much damage it does whenever it hits. Um, it's okay. Honestly, in the current meta of auto rifles, the Soros regime isn't super competitive. Um, I've been killed by it a few times, but when you compare it to other auto rifles, especially higher rate of fire auto rifles, it's just not competitive. So if you don't have it already, sure, pick it up. Why not? But if you're looking for something, expecting it to be a killer in PvP, I wouldn't bother, because this one's not really going to do it. Ornaments this week. He's got the Shock Hazard for the Zalo Supercell. That's pretty cool. Uh, that's the one that makes it like electric... I actually have enough silver dust for. Hmm. That was like a born in fire for young wolf's howl. I think that's the one that makes it look kind of fiery. I'm gonna buy this because I've been wanting that ornament forever, and I can't seem to get it. So Ooh, there we go. Um. Then he's got the usual plasma drive, emerald coil, heavy ammo send, three of coins, and glass needles. That's it. For Legends of Destiny, Agent of the Nine, if you enjoyed this video, please be sure to hit that subscribe button on YouTube, uh, as well as Twitch, both of which are t uh, slash BigCTV. Um, if you want to follow us on social media, we are at BigCTV Show on both Facebook and Twitter. And... If you want to help shape the future of Big C TV videos, including Legends of Destiny, please be sure to become a Patreon patron on patreon.com slash Big C TV and help shape the future. That's going to do it for Legends of Destiny, Agents of the Nine. My name is Chris, and I will see you next week. Maybe. Probably. <laughs>